It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the New York Giants. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the New York Jets and their inner city rivals, the New York Giants. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gaudin on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf? If you're playing on and how will it handle as things get a little bit slick. and Jets are underway. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Play action. It's Wilson. Caught by Kyle. Not able to get a single yard there, and it will bring up third down. Come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Wilson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And back deep, Gunnar Olszewski. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. First go on offense for the Giants under the guidance of Daniel Jones, the former Duke Blue Devil. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants. But his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw here is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. 
Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second and a couple. Now Jones. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. Two yards, good enough for first. They got completion there. That's clearly an example. One side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very <laughs> Hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you got to expect to get more on the passing play. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. On first and 10, Jones. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring him second down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it, an in route, going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Here's second and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 27. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Jones on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Giants' first down as they get five there on third and two. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Now second and five. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. And the flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them, that attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back five-yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield. Picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's third and nine. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Andrew Thomas, former first-rounder from Georgia, called for the penalty there. Still third down. 
So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Gano's kick is good, and the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football. And he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Again, Wilson. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 42. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So the drive takes them into Giants' territory now. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, Wilson. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. 
They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there, and that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football, but they couldn't get the hook up there. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Wilson. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence they will bust free and get to the quarterback. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley and he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game from the 26 they'll line up on second and four Again, it's Barkley. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Here's Jones on third down. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. inside handoff and he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down so much of the game today we're looking for hybrid players guys who can do a combination of jobs and anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles we just saw the linebacker make that play and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Two yards on the pickup, but that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. A first down carry for Barkley, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. Well, almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. 
On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And this will be out of bounds at the one here, the 12 yard line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. It hasn't gone particularly well for them, that's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Ball again on second down. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. On first down, Wilson. the officials kind of looking at each other down there silently wondering does this meet the level of grounding fortunately he did have a receiver in the area but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties here's Wilson and he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there Kayvon Thibodeau he beat the old line and recorded the sack now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 42. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. Nifty footwork at the 45. And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones... They have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Jones now to throw on second down. And his throw is incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. 
On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Throw on first down with Wilson. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing the receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Wilson. behind him, incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming out third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Wilson. game not in sync here early and now it's fourth down not only did he have a chance to scan the field there it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away and the return man will shuffle through the white stuff, secure the fair catch with both hands. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 43. They begin with a run by Barkley. Boy, shifts past him. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Back to throw, Jones. That's complete, he's got Barkley out of the backfield. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Barkley. And a very similar result again. The Jets' defense once more stopping him behind the line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. Now Jones throwing on third and long. Complete. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Jones going to get this one complete to Saquon. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. 
Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's a give to Barkley. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Third and two. They'll try to run for him. Barkley. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3 0 our score. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Operating from the gun, Jones. A quick pass here. He's got Shepard. And the Giants are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, there you go. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's caught. It's Waller. Touchdown, Giants. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by Darren Waller. Touchdown here to kick it away. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Now Wilson on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. 
And this ball recovered by the offense, but remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. To throw is Wilson. And it's slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Hall on a give up the middle. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Morstead on to punt it away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. to start the drive. Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Throwing Jones. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams, there to bring him down. It's now third down. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0 as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Giants got solid play out of their quarterback in that first half. That's Daniel Jones. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. Paris Campbell now on the return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown Giants. It's all about taking words and bringing them to life. At halftime, I will guarantee you in their locker room. They talk about pressing the kicking game because you can get an advantage if you do it right, and they just did.
Gano for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17 nothing. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. again after the kick return TD here's yet another kickoff and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further so here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They go play action now, Wilson. Open that here is Conklin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Straight ahead is Hall. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Wilson to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Wilson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Wilson. That is caught. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Back to the ground with Hall. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Ball again on second down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And this is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game, and for a second, I thought they had it right there. Well, looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. There's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Abana Kanda, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set him back for second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. And they'll go again with a band of Kanda. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. I even have to stretch for this one. This is four-down territory. They've got to get it in with the deficit that they're facing. Absolutely. It's not the fourth quarter, but still, you, I think you, you can't be thinking three here. No, if you do that, you might as well go ahead and fold up on this one. But I don't think they're built like that. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So now, fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. to So that may be not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get them back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turnover on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 77 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, 
Giants. Saquon Barkley, 51 yards. And the Giants take a three-touchdown lead. We know it's primarily a passing league now, but anytime a runner breaks one like that, you've got to have a secondary that can find a way to it and find a way to get him on the ground. Absent of that, he's going to find the end zone every time. Gano now to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Play action. Now Wilson. Got a man. That's Lazard. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll give to Hall. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now it's Wilson. Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 36. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now to this point. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Gets around him, and he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. A band of can on first and ten. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Israel Abanacanda, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. 
They always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And that cuts the lead to 24-10. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now Jones... Looking for Shepard deep. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. The Jets' offense ready to go in this battle of New York. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. On second down, a run with Hall. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. On third down, Wilson. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. On first down, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. 
My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. I love that play because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down and make a tackle in the open field, difficult in normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from 19 yards away. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy. Because and now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So take away the touchdown there, as that's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Giants are going to get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Second down, here's Barkley again. Gets past one man. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Justin Pugh, the left guard that time with a flag. Running again with Barkley on second down. Oh, nice move. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 165 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, 
Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. That's caught inside the 20. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. 44 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Back to throw. Jones. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. And a loose football. And while all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. A handoff, Barkley running left. And this won't do it. He needed six, he only got halfway there. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Second and ten, it's Wilson again. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. 
They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Wilson will throw again. That's complete to Cobb. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they turn that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. Nice job defensively to hold them to four, and now it's second and goal. Now Wilson. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Zach Wilson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Zach Wilson who took it in himself on the touchdown run to cap it off. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. They give it off here to the tight end. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, 
This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Jones to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And able to work his way down to the 16. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. On third down, Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here is Wilson and the Jets down by 13, a little over 20 seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Absolutely love the play design here. Two receivers on each side with the outside guy running the short hitch. The inside guy, deep corner. And how about the quarterback? That little shoulder fake like he's throwing the hitch. Then he comes up and throws a deep corner route this time for big effect, and it pays off with a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Another try, second and 10 now. Wilson. 
Oh, that one too wide and incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Well, the crowd here at MetLife Stadium in full roar. Third down. Throwing again here, Wilson. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. For that, we sign off.